Hi and welcome to Asian Photography's YouTube channel. My name is Bhavya Desai and today is all about predicting the technology trends and products in the photography industry for the year 2018. So before we begin, we at Asian Photography would like to wish each and every one of you a very happy new year and we had a little bit of break and we rejuvenated for 2018 and ready to bring you some amazing video content. So we have always been doing trends and predictions article in the Asian Photography magazine which by the way completed 30 years in 2018 and if you want to look at some of the previous ones that we've done earlier then you can go on to asianphotographyindia.com and you can get your hands on those. Now it is important to note that these trends and predictions for the year 2018 are some of the technologies, the photography styles as well as the products that we feel might become extremely big in 2018. So some of these might be a little far-fetched thinking not just in the year 2018 but also beyond those but at some point of time we genuinely feel that most of these will make it into the imaging technology industry so these are not going to be in any random order and we will basically just be giving you an idea picking up from different genres which is photography styles technology as well as products so let's find out what's the first one So in terms of photography styles, we surely feel that color toning is really going to dominate 2018. If in the past few years, flash photography as well as candids have really been big when it comes to shooting photography styles, then color toning is something which is surely going to be really big. If you've noticed, then editorials as well as covers of many magazines have already started showing this trend and we feel it's only going to get bigger in the year 2018. So the second thing that we feel will really become big is more videos. And when we talk about videos, we don't just mean consumption in terms of content, but also in terms of the features which will be packed into the cameras as well as smart devices. If you've noticed, then the consumption of video in platforms like YouTube, Netflix and so on, it's just been skyrocketing and increasing year after year. And 2018 is where we feel it'll come into a full-blown potential and that is definitely going to get really big. So the third thing that we feel will become really big is the higher frames per second as well as 4K, 6K and 8K being the future. Now as you know that a lot of content creators and YouTubers have already started giving you content in 4K and this is only the beginning. For example, when we talk about the higher frames per second, at this point of time products like Panasonic GH5 which shoot 4K at 60 frames per second, we feel this is only the beginning. This will just get better in the products which are going to come in 2018 since some of the products which are already out there shoot at either 30 frames per second and probably have not reached 6K and 8K as a standard. So the fourth thing that we feel will really become big in the year 2018 and so on is more from a product redesigning perspective. If you've been in the industry for a while, then you would know that cameras ideally were very bulky. But now, in the past one, one and a half year, products have started getting a lot smaller, a lot more compact, yet being able to deliver a similar type of performance. Now, this is all thanks to the smart devices and the smartphones of today. If you see, there's a constant innovation which is happening in that industry and now the camera manufacturers have also understood that and they've also started redesigning their product from the scratch or base on and they're getting a lot smaller. Now the fifth thing which we feel will really become big is voice assistance, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Now naturally this might be a little far-fetched when it comes to the photography products or the imaging devices but we feel at some point of time there is going to be a certain amount of confluence or merging of wherever the smart devices are today and where we are with the cameras. Now for instance, if you're used to using voice assistants like Google Assistant, Siri or even Alexa, then we feel it's only going to be a matter of time from a user interface perspective, all of these might get merged into the camera devices. But one of the biggest challenges that most camera manufacturers will have when it comes to this is the battery life since whenever you're using a voice assistant, the microphone is always on and that probably might be the biggest challenge that they might face. 
so the next thing that we feel is going to be still around it's not really going to be the next big thing as such but definitely what is going to be around is film now if you would have read our articles in the previous years as well we've consistently mentioned that film is not really going to go out of fashion and if the numbers are to go by then definitely film has just increased marginally or at least usage of films have still increased marginally as compared to before of course it's important to understand that you don't take it in the wrong manner it does not mean that film is going to grow exponentially it just means it's definitely not going to go away anytime soon so the seventh thing which is surely going to be part of everything is going to be filters and it's going to be filters everywhere so if you're someone who actually uses a lot of snapchat and is used to using filters on instagram then you might have already noticed that in camera filters has already been something which is available across all devices and this is surely going to get a lot bigger and going to be available in more and more products and smart devices as the year goes by so the eighth thing which will become really big in the year 2018 in the photography industry are better sensors as mentioned earlier there's a lot of redesigning which might happen when it comes to the cameras and definitely at that point of time manufacturers will ensure that they also work on designing and redesigning the sensor and how it is so definitely you can expect a lot better sensors in a much more compact body in the year 2018 Now the ninth thing that we feel will become really interesting in the year 2018 is from the printing technology perspective. Now if you've known then things have already started moving in the direction where printers will become a lot more compact and pocket friendly. Products like HP Sprocket as well as the Epson PM520 are just a clear example of these things. Going forward, manufacturers like them will still continue to expand a wide variety of products. and make things a lot more easier consumer friendly for you and i to shoot and print out now the next big thing when it comes to the photography industry we feel is going to be virtual reality and the way the images are being displayed now this might not be imaged and it might not show its surface on the year 2018 but in the next couple of years we feel it will become a complete full blown industry If you see the year 2017 then manufacturers like Apple and Google started providing the SDKs to developers to use virtual reality as part of the experience that a consumer can have and this is only a matter of time when these developers starts confluencing these with photography apps and when that happens this will take the way we see or feel the images in a completely new manner the next thing which definitely you will see in the cameras which are launching beyond 2018 is a much smarter and a better user interface now if you've seen most of the smart devices and the cameras which we have today have gotten a lot better as compared to where they were a few years back now thanks to again the smartphones of today which have made things so easy in terms of user interface it has already started migrating slowly and surely onto the ui that we see in today's cameras and this by no means is where it can reach in the coming few years so that's why 2018 we feel we'll see a lot better user interface as compared to what they are currently now the next thing which definitely will become big in the year 2018 is 360 action cameras If you've noticed then GoPro Fusion was launched in 2017 where it was the first mountable camera which is an action camera which offers 360 degree view. Now this was just the beginning and in the year 2018 we will see a lot more products in this sphere. Now next and the final thing which will definitely make it to each and every list is innovation. Now innovation is definitely the heart of every technology and the year 2018 is definitely not going to be different now the year 2018 we feel is going to have a lot more innovation than what it used to be before in the camera industry for products like the canon macro ring light are just the beginning if you see even in terms of the cameras which are being released ideally the release time for most products used to be 4 to 5 years we feel that this gap when it comes to the future 2018 onwards will be a lot lesser as compared to before for the simple reason being that the technology is moving at a very fast pace at the same time the competition is getting a lot stiffer and stiffer 
So if you want to be at the forefront as a manufacturer, then they will have to innovate a lot faster. So this completes our list of technology trends and predictions for 2018. And if you like this video, then make sure that you share, like and subscribe to our channel. And until next time, happy viewing.